the epicenter ran in a, let's say a, a westerly direction so passed in front of us instead of going towards us in a northerly direction and therefore we were relatively and we were on the we were on a bit of a, a, a mountain so as it dissipated as it reached us but still walls falling down and stuff like that and still massively traumatic but I got woken up and I looked at CNN and it was in Portuguese so all I could see was the earthquake and I could see Japanese writing and I said oh yeah is it is it Tokyo they said no it's Kobe and I've got the president or the not the president I think it was the CEO in the next room with his family in Kobe and my family in Kobe and we had to try and get back and of course that was chaos trying to get back in so when we got back in it was the aftershocks and it was the it was the the city in ruins and and it was it was very 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 difficult I mean he said to me they said to me you can go take your family and go we'll give you one year's money this is not your fight uh, and I say obviously because I'm taking it on it, they were they were going to pay all of the foreigners that I'd I'd taken four of the staff and I'd signed players and they were going to give everybody one year's money and thank you and it's not your fight and then and then a new president came in who had God bless him Takasagosan he was he had a few finger tips missing so he was part of the family and he said to me back to Sam. Give us, give us a team that will show this city that you can't be beaten. He said, if you can do that, I'll back you. So like football just went out the window and it was now, a, this was something much, much bigger. And in the first, we, our training pitch had a split down the side. It had a, it was like a wave had passed through it. The showers were all down. So we had, we got demoted into the, the second league and had to win that league to prove that we could host the J League. Well, the first 12 games, it was disastrous. It was disastrous. We couldn't train. Everybody was depressed. It was like the aftershocks were going off all the time. I think we won two games in 12. And then at the turnaround, takasoma san came and said, I'm moving you to a training field that I've built for you. And we had a home suddenly. And the players just, and I think we won 13 on the spin. It was unbelievable. It was like you just plugged them in. It was like, whap. And, and at the end of the season, we missed promotion by, I think, a point. And the following year, we, we got promotion. And he said to me, he said, he took me out and he was, he said to me, he says, and he didn't speak very good English. And he was drinking and he looked a little bit tipsy. And then he suddenly, he looked at my wife and he said, I will look after your family as long as I've got blood in my body. And I stopped and he went, and you, and he, and you can buy any player you want. <laughs> I said, no, yeah, don't say that. I said, I might sign Michael Laudrup from Real Madrid. And in the morning, his secretary came to the house with a letter for me saying, I've booked our flights to Madrid. You speak to Michael. 